Hello, ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? We're going to take a look at this snake right here, and she's been sitting on these eggs for about three weeks longer than the two eggs that she rolled out we put in the incubator have hatched. Those ones hatched right about day 56, and it's been three weeks and she's still got the rest of her eggs. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on in there. Right before we do that, I'd like to let you know that we upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces to this channel. This video is uncut. And in today's Uncut, before we get into this, I want to talk about last week's video just a moment. If you don't want to hear me talk about last week's video, you can skip right ahead to this timestamp right here, and I'll jump straight into the snake and her eggs. So, but I wanted to touch on it because yes, it was received in different ways, as many of my videos are. Some people like them, some people hate them. And I just, I wanted to, A, not apologize and also just clarify and... When I talk about my relationship with the Lord, I don't write it down. I think often, I should write down some stuff and have some good points and go like that, but then I don't want to come off sounding like a robot reading from a page, so I forgo that step and I just go straight from the top of the head from the bottom of the heart. And it doesn't always come out the way I want it to. It really doesn't. I, I think all these deep thoughts in my head and I, I process it all through here, but then when I open my mouth, Half the time, everything that comes out is just blah, 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 and it doesn't make any real sense, even to me when I watch it back. So there were, there were some folks that felt that I was trying to beat people over the head with my beliefs, and it's really not it. I mean, this is a vlog channel, right? This is my vlog channel. So this channel is all about sharing what's happening in my life. That's what it's always been about. I've said this a hundred million times. It's not a reptile channel. It's a vlog channel. I happen, happen to have reptiles and work with them on a daily basis. But how could I possibly not share the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life on this channel if it's a channel about my life? How could I not? I just don't, I don't, it doesn't compute to me to not be, to not do that. It's, it's like, it's like share everything in your life except for the best thing that's ever happened to you on your vlog channel. I, I just can't. And I, and I get that some people don't want to hear it. And I get it because I was, I was there before too. I was in a spot where I thought that the church and Christianity was full of nothing but hypocrisy. And, and there is certainly plenty of hypocrisy still because it's men and, and people involved in it so that you can't, can't really escape it because of that. But I made a decision at one point to not throw the baby out with the bathwater figuratively speaking, and maybe literally speaking. Um, and I, I just share about it because it's, it's part of my life. It's a huge part of my life. It's, it's literally the best thing that I've, I've ever had happen in my life. And so I can't help but share about it often here. And I really try to do it in a way that's, that's gentle. And, and maybe what I need to do more is just allow my life to speak for itself and not need to go into the details of how it's happening. But then, I don't know, that just doesn't seem right either. It feels like I need to share why all these great things are happening in my life. And I want them to happen for other people too. And um, it's probably because it's a type of conversation that's much better had one-on-one -on -one, where there can be a back and forth and I'm not just speaking directly to a camera. That's certainly part of it. That's why I tried to have Hillary on with me to talk back and forth. But even then, it's still us talking to a camera and nobody not getting any feedback. And that feedback is really important to hear where somebody else is at and where they're coming from and be caring to their position. But when it's through a camera, it's just not possible. I can't possibly know where everybody that's watching is at. And obviously all the Christian folks that watch the channel are like, yeah, this is all great. It's great. But because I'm sharing about Jesus, but, and they, and they get that and they understand exactly where I'm coming from. But for the folks that don't understand exactly where I'm coming from, those are the folks I really want to reach a, and, but B, <laughs> those are the folks that if I don't get that feedback directly, it makes it really challenging. And as challenging as it is, it doesn't make me want to give up doing it because I feel like I probably just need to get better at it. I'm working on it. I'm work in progress. That's for sure. Just a work in progress. But that's enough of that. I hope you enjoyed last week's video. Or if you didn't, I hope you would have given me some grace as I asked for at the very beginning of the video because I'm just a man trying to share and I, I mess up all the time. So... There. 
Let's take a look at this snake. So again, 56 days, and let's, let's take a look at the babies first, actually, that, that have hatched out. And we'll take a look at at least, well, one of them at least. Okay, okay, I need my monitor back. Pardon me, it's an uncut video. Okay, here we go. Come on in, monitor. So here is one of the babies that hatched, one of the two that hatched at day 56 after being laid. And they were incubating at about 90 degrees on the dot in the usual fashion that I incubate uh, snake eggs around here. So she's looking good and she is a she, 100% het clown, bamboo, and something else. There's something else going on here besides just bamboo. Not sure if it's red stripe, but um, could be. So she hatched out at day 56. And then, oh, this camera, I think I need a new... I think I need a new tripod. This thing is uh, flopping all over the place. It doesn't hold the weight of my camera. It's moving on me. Okay, stay please. Okay, so let's make some mic noise and turn this thing around and we'll look inside the tub here and see what's happening with mom three weeks after those eggs have hatched. Sorry about that noise. I always I wish I could find a better way to flip that microphone around without making that noise, but just haven't had a The only way to do it is cut it out, but it's uncut, so there you go. There she is. There's her eggs. A uh, couple of them have come out, and uh, four of them are still sitting in the egg. And she's, they probably are hiding behind mom. So there she is, bamboo female. And three weeks later, these things start to pop out. That's, that seems a little wild to me. I mean, it makes perfect sense, being that she was keeping them on a different spot than the exact hot spot inside of the enclosure. She actually had them on the hot spot at one point, and then slowly scooted them a little bit more away from the hot spot. I'm going to stop waving my hand in front of her face so she doesn't bite my finger. So the, you see the couple of babies that came out are hiding underneath her, which is awesome. And I, I love doing this for that, that reason, that it's just kind of cool to see mom interact with her babies and the babies interact with mom. And they came out perfectly healthy. You know, there's no issues with them being in there an extra, uh, an extra, how do you say, <laughs> three weeks? That seems like a long time, doesn't it? But she was keeping the eggs at about 84 degrees is when I would temp gun them. So this is a, looks like a probably Enchi spot nose or Enchi red stripe or really just cool looking Enchi head clown. And like I said, totally healthy. Hatched out three weeks later than that other snake I just showed you. And that's just, I keep saying three weeks, but it's just interesting to me how much time different that is. I know the standard, the, the industry and hobby standard is three weeks, or sorry, is 56 days for the eggs to hatch when they're in the incubator at like 90 degrees or so. You know, 55 is like the day when people are like, if past day 55, I cut the eggs open. But here we have snakes that went 77 days in the egg hanging out with mom. And they're doing totally fine. And they look totally healthy. And it'll, I'll keep you guys abreast of how they progress. I'm not sure exactly what's happening with this snake. I would say this is a bamboo red stripe, but so dark too. I mean, there was GHI, I think, in the pairing. because, And I say that because the, the snake was supposed to be GHI, but he's produced two clutches so far and none of the babies have come out GHI. So maybe he's finally proving that he is actually GHI. It's always been a question for me if he's really GHI or not. He's a GHI pinstripe. Sorry. He's a GHI Enchi spot nose red stripe clown is the dad. And this is definitely not just a bamboo, whatever's happening here. There's some other kind of coloration going on, which again is maybe the red stripe or maybe the GHI finally proving out. I don't, I don't know. I'll have to wait till they have some sheds and we'll, we'll check back. But this is the last clutch of the season, which is cool because she's the mom that laid the last clutch of the season that inspired that song we wrote a couple years back. So she's consistently uh, laying the last clutch of the season around here at Triple B, and that's awesome. So there she goes. Nice little update. Eggs are finally hatching from her three weeks later. <laughs> three weeks later still. Uh, it's just, it just still seems so crazy to me that it, that much time would pass between just because of a slight temperature difference. Well, I mean, it's slight. It's like six degrees, six or five to six degrees temperature difference. And the rest of those eggs, I imagine, should be out in the next day or two. And um, 
and we're going to do a year in review video here this weekend. And then uh, I'm sure we'll get back to this clutch and, and take a look and see how the rest of the babies are doing and do a little updates on how they, how they eat. That's one of the interesting things to me is like how well these babies eat versus the babies that were artificially incubated. So <sighs> it's exciting. It's fun. And I'm, I'm having a blast. And I believe uh, this weekend, yes, is the Pomona Reptile Super Show. Is that right? Is it already here? No, no. This weekend is New Year's Eve. Okay. This weekend is New Year's Eve. But the weekend after that, we have Reptile Super Show. I don't know if you noticed, there was all kinds of cocoa blocks in there that mom incubated on. Channel sponsor, Freedom Breeder, Cocoa Blocks. Check them out. If you haven't got some already, great substrate. Great racks for keeping ball pythons. Um, and Morph Market, of course, if you're looking for ball pythons or any reptile or amphibian invertebrate for that matter uh, as a pet or you know, just check them out. Links down in the description. Channel sponsors, appreciate the support. And you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.